Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 5th, 2021. So yesterday we had the diamonds, the Dow, having a little bit of turmoil, a little bit of a pullback and bounce back as the S&P 500 and the QQQ continued to surge. Um, we just have a remarkable bullish market where it just doesn't seem like anything matters. Just hurry up and buy something. Um, what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome to Friday. We have made it through the week and we have a little bit of data coming our way this morning. That, who knows, could continue to inspire, spur us higher or could um, actually create that little stumbling place in the market. There are some reasons to start really picking up on your caution levels here and we'll talk about that in just a second. So let's take a look at these indexes and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Clearly the bulls are in control. They are just running and running and running and running and really nothing seems to matter all that much. Um, there seems to be little to no concern that the market could ever fall or stumble. But I want to point out the fact that China is running into some serious troubles. If you guys saw the news overnight, China had another developer that defaulted on um, dollar denominated bonds and um, they have some serious issues starting to grow over there. And I think we need to be starting to pay attention to that a little bit because that will impact us here in the United States. Let's keep an eye on this, however, as we continue to run up, we continue to stretch through. That means every day we continue to stretch that we have a bigger chance of a pullback. Odds are growing of some kind of a pullback um, in the market, if nothing more than just a profit-taking pullback in the market. And I believe we might be reaching a point where we could hit some exhaustion in the market as every, all dollars that we're going to be in are in. And then we either go through a protracted sideways move or a substantial pullback in correction. So watch that carefully. Now also keep in mind we have some price support through here if we were to really get going to the downside. But that would be a pretty darn painful pullback if that were to occur. So just kind of keep in mind those levels. There's no reason to believe it. And when we look at these charts that we can't stretch higher and you can see we're trying to do that this morning if we take a look at the spy spy also stretching higher here and yesterday setting new record highs and we have a very steep ascent here in this chart as you can see now i would say we haven't quite reached that parabolic look here in um the um, in the SPY, but we, we, we are moving that direction. We are getting into that area where we're starting to look a little bit more parabolic. And I'll show you a chart here in just a second that just looks absolutely parabolic. But one of the things we do have to consider is just how far we have stretched up here that support is way under way down here and if we were to stumble or pull back just how painful that will be so i guess the the moral of the story here is be careful being the last dollar in the door being that last dollar in the door before we turn over and see a little bearish action could be pretty darn painful so be careful in the chase and then if we take a look at qqq here's where i see parabolic um, if you can take a look, we have moved up very sharply here and we are now virtually in a parabolic straight up move and trying to gap higher again this morning. So I've got to just start ringing the caution bells on this. We have stretched these profit, the p and &E ratios to a ridiculous level as we continue to push and push and push for the upside move. However, 
I don't think there's any reason to believe that we can't finish out this week strong. So be watching that closely. And remember, we cannot be consistently profitable traders if we don't take some profits. So remember, as we continue to stretch this market up, don't let greed get in the way of taking some profits in this market. This is kind of a ridiculous extension. And we will see um, some kind of pullback likely occur. Maybe it, it starts next week. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM broke out of all-time highs here. A line across here. Broke out of all-time highs after a year's worth of resistance up here. Continuing to push higher. We're trying to push on up this morning in anticipation of that employment number um, here this morning. So watch that carefully. Remember, a pretty logical thing to occur is either some kind of a consolidation or a pullback to test this level to make sure that we can hold that and really follow this trend. Straight up moves like this add an awful lot of danger in the chase here. So be careful, we might need that resting pullback consolidation before we can move on higher. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX. Back down here, what was interesting yesterday is as we set some new records in the NASDAQ, we actually saw the VIX um, lifting just a little bit. So new record highs in the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ, and we saw the VIX coming in with just a little bit of a lift here on the day. So just a little concern in here. And I do think it's interesting as we continue to stretch higher, we at least at this point have not been able to break to new lows. So a little bit of concern that we might be running into that complacency. And I, and I think every day that we continue to extend, that complacency worry should be growing that we're kind of just chasing at this point. So watch that carefully here and um, realize that we do have resistance levels above. Even if we do get moving, um, find a little bit of bearish activity, we've got resistance right in here that could stop that move to the upside. So I'm not suggesting we plummet or anything, but I will say that because of this extension, it'll feel pretty painful when the market does pull back. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122 continues to give me significant worries, but we had, it um, with the Dow pulling back and some of the industrials pulling back, we had a little bit of a softening here in that T2122 yesterday. However, we have stayed elevated in this T2122 for a long time now. And my concern is that we could um, get that rubber band effect um, coming in here that when we do start the fall, every, everybody will run for the doors at the same time. So watch that carefully. Now, we do, uh, that pullback yesterday in T2122 did, did relieve some pressure. And if we can find that bullishness in that uh, report today, then there's no reason to believe why we can't push back up in that level. But just remember, as we continue to stay extended and stretched out like this, every day, every tick higher, we grow the odds of a pullback, and it could be a substantial pullback. So just keep that in mind as you plan forward. Now, we also have, if those bears were to get engaged and truly get engaged, we have opened a huge opportunity for a downside move here in the chart. So watch that carefully. If we take a look at our T2107, whoops, T2107, as you can see, we pulled back a little bit yesterday in that T2107. So even though we set some new record highs, there was a little bit of selling going on in the market, but we're doing pretty darn good in here. We're holding above some support levels in this chart. And that's what we needed to see. We needed to see some of those um, stocks that have been really beaten down starting to come back. Notice we're about 48, 49% of our stocks are back above that 200 day moving average or holding above their 200 day. And that is a good sign. We could start climbing this wall of worry back up, uh, possibly if they can continue to lift out of those lows. Then let's take a look at our T2108. And I just got to continue to point this out. Um, and I, because I think this um, is important um, in the fact that as we continue to stretch higher here, notice we had a little bit of a pullback in 2108. We're setting new record highs here in the market. And notice we've got fewer stocks 
above their 40-day moving average um, as we do that. So we have stretched an awful lot of those really select stocks to the upside, while we have quite a few stocks lower, as we saw, 49% of the stocks above their 200-day. So we're getting fewer and fewer stocks holding this market up. So just imagine what could happen if those few stocks start to turn and go the other direction. So keep that in mind here. Um, our percentage of stocks above our 40-day moving average is a little bit concerning. And then our T2101, T2101 had a little bit of lift yesterday and that was good that we had that little bit of lift in T2101. Um, that was that little bit of bearish activity in there because we were kind of scraping along the bottom of the barrel here. As we continue to form this wedge here in this chart, um, this can certainly go on for another month or two, the way it looks, as we continue to tighten and tighten and tighten this wedge. But there will be a diminishing return um, starting to happen, I think, here in the market soon. Um, with um, that market breadth. So be kind of careful here and watch closely. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, um, we have a big one today. We have the employment situation number and analysts, there have just been report after report after report um, analysts coming out saying this is just going to be a stellar report. We're going to see gains all over the place. Everybody's looking for um, gains in employment. Everyone's looking for gains in um, um, wages and salaries. Um, so keep a close eye on that. If those things were not to come to pass, if, if this were to disappoint, again, that could be the trigger for some selling. If it comes in as strong as they expect or even stronger, we could see that bullish move. But at the same time, we might start be wor begin to worry if it's too hot could start to worry a little bit more about inflation. It's kind of remarkable to me that we've really been putting our head in the sand on the inflation and supply chain issues um, this earnings season. But watch that closely. I don't know if this could be the trigger. You know, we've, we continue to stretch and move up on bad economic news. Maybe when we get a really good economic news report, that's when we break the, break the cycle. I don't know, but watch that closely. And then keep in mind, we've got a Fed speaker here um, later on uh, this morning. So watch for that. Probably won't make any ripples um, in the market. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar today, we get a little break. Oh man, we've been, we've had a breakneck pace of earnings reports here this week. And we're getting a little break, um, just um, just over a hundred companies reporting earnings today. Um, and quite a few of them are unverified reports. So quite a quite a big drop in notables today. If you go take a look at the blog this morning, just click that link um, in the title of the video and that'll take you back to that morning blog. Um, you'll see that we have a considerable decrease in the number of those earnings reports. And just a second, I am having some kind of a major issue with my list where I have that on here. So just a second, guys. Um, I'm gonna actually have to go to the blog here. Um, if you take a look um, at the blog, you're gonna see like um, CGC, one of those um, cannabis stocks will be reporting today. Looks like they're looking a little bit lower. Last time they came in and we saw a surge in that stock, but go in the other direction today. We have Dominion Energy reporting today. We're going to hear from DKNG. Now, DraftKings, you know, was a favored stock for a long, long time, but now we're starting to show some real problems here in this chart, gapping lower this morning. Watch that carefully. We've got Goodyear Tire that's been on an amazing surge to the upside. That'll be reporting today. We've got uh, JCI, Johnson Controls, will be reporting today. Um, take a look at AMCX. That'll be on the list, getting a nice little pop here this morning. ELAN will be reporting. FLR is on my notable list this morning. 
Um, so if you want to catch that full list, go back to that morning blog to catch that full list um, of those char charts. Just click the link right below the title of the video. That'll take you back there. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today? But before we do that, if you all could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you see these videos, if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time. I post one of these videos and if you feel these videos are worthy if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video oh I'm sorry I, I repeated myself there make sure you um, um, leave a brief comment click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment I apologize got a little caught, caught up in my um, own rhetoric there um, if <laughs> if this um, um, if you guys um, are not members of hit and run candlesticks and right way options and want to support this kind of content you can support it in the link below the title of the video um, with buy me a coffee and I'm using that money it's all being rolled back up into the channel and um, there's going to be some changes coming soon and I'm kind of excited about those let's take a look and by the way thank you for everyone who does support the channel that way let's take a look at a few stocks and let's keep in mind guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security and please also keep in mind I was out yesterday um, with a dentist appointment and I'm still pretty darn sore this morning so I haven't had a full chance to really look over a lot of charts yet so I'm a little bit unprepared this morning so please keep that in mind take a look at um, General Motors General Motors took a real surge back up here last couple of days and it's been lagging behind Ford and let's keep an eye on this we've kind of engaged this trend right in here we kind of slipped through this one went sideways in here now we're surging back up watch for that opportunity if that can pop back up and regain that support there may be some opportunities here in General Motors and if you take a look at Ford Ford just continues to stretch to the upside. Just a remarkable move. I think Ford needs a rest. We've kind of gone parabolic in this move, as you can see, breaking through some resistance levels. We need a rest or pullback in here, and then I would look for that next opportunity in that chart. I keep bringing up Oracle, and I still continue to believe that Oracle could be setting up for an upside move. Notice that we've kind of slipped past this trend in here, but Oracle's going to be reporting next week. That's going to be a problem for us now because doggone earnings reports always seem to come right at the time when good signals show up in a chart. But let's watch that carefully for that potential. I, I keep mentioning Cisco as well. Cisco's been moving up in kind of a struggling move to the upside. It hasn't been all that energetic. But one thing I got to say is breaking through this resistance level here in the chart, this little resting pullback in here coming into trend seems to be setting up an opportunity, at least to my eyes, setting up that opportunity. You might want to keep an eye on that chart looking pretty good uh, to the upside. Let's take a look. Um, take a look at uh, Fubo. Fubo had that big move and we popped through that resistance. And I mentioned this one um, just yesterday, popping through that uh, up into that resistance and I said watch for that potential pop out or that pullback and if you take a look in here we did hit that resistance and we're pulling back into this trend now I think that sets up an opportunity as long as we can hold this trend if we don't just collapse all the way back down if we can hold on to that trend we would watch for that next opportunity and maybe that actual break of that resistance um, in that chart remember guys this is that tried and true pattern that I love in charts I'm breaking those downtrends pushing over and starting to look to the upside I think it would be a good idea to take a quick look at some of these casinos um, Las Vegas Sands I've mentioned this one before but it's kind of languished here for a bit just kind of drifting along um, as you can see, we're holding above our 50-day moving average, and that 50-day moving average is flattening out, starting to turn up. Although we had a, a bearish day the day before, we tried to reverse that a bit yesterday. And let's notice that we're moving up in this trend. So maybe a few more days of rest out here, 
and then we'll see LVS start moving to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Some of the casinos are coming back and we have seen um, some bullish action um, in any of the travel um, type stocks um, looking pretty good. So keep a close eye on that. Let's also take a look at um, something that doesn't seem to come up as a potential um, all that often, but let's take a look at XLU. Um, enter, um, utilities um, starting to perk up here just a little bit. Now notice we had a little bit of a downside day yesterday, uh, pulling back, but bounced right back up. And utilities are starting to show some signs that they're um, holding these higher lows and we may be getting closer to that place where we might start moving up. So keep a close eye on that. Obviously, even if the market falters here a little bit, we're going to have a need for utilities. So watch that closely. Um, I think we should also keep a close eye here on energy. Now, energy um, has had a nice little rest and consolidation now. So we've surged up really, really big. Big. No real selling in this chart. Now, keep in mind, every time energy goes higher, we see um, uh, impacts to inflation. But energy continues to hold in here pretty nicely. If that continues to drift along here sideways, we might eventually catch that next upside move to the upside. And if you look at some of these stocks like um, Devon, Devon's trying to break through that resistance right in here. Notice we're trying to pop on through. Um, just got past its earnings report, trying to look higher. We see good signs in like um, Exxon Mobil trying to hang in there at this resistance, trying to push its way through there. So you might want to keep an eye on some of those energy sector stocks trying to come back around. Um, other stocks that I have been honestly a little bit surprised by is the strength in, that we have seen in some retail. Take a look at UAA. Now I hold UAA as a long-term hold, so may have a bias in this, guys. This long-term hold it was, was a wager from a friend. We're just having a little comp competition on the stock here. But as you can see here, um, surged up recently in its earnings report. And now watch for some kind of a little rest. If we can get a consolidation, a rest, maybe we come back in here and contact trend somewhere in that area. I would look for that opportunity for the upside. So we're seeing some of these retailers and, and smaller retailers really showing quite a little bit of strength. Um, Kohl's has just recently stretched out here big time um, in that move. This needs a rest or a pullback now, but this is breaking that downtrend. Give us that little rest in here, hold some support levels. Take a look at Kohl's as a possibility uh, for that upside move. So we're seeing some of that retail really starting to pick up. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Everyone take care, be safe, have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. I wish you all the best.